Hi guys, in this tutorial um, we are going to focus on the different ways of creating component variants. Uh, this tutorial was actually requested by a subscriber named Tima and I hope I am pronouncing the name correctly. So thank you Tima for uh, bringing this up. Um, and this is a question actually, what Timo was asking is what is the difference between creating variants with component set as we can do here, component set, or just creating a component and adding a variant to it. So I answered Timo that basically, I mean, there is no difference. I mean, the outcome is the same, but honestly speaking, I find uh, these questions uh, keep on popping up. Um, I guess quite a lot of times from my students as well, uh, which because there are there is more than one way to create variants, so basically it's quite confusing. So let's go in all the ways of creating variants and understand it completely once and for all. Put it on the table and get all the ways of creating variants. Okay, so let's say I have this button. I'm going to show it by the way on very simple components but it doesn't matter at all i mean you can do that in from the simple component to the most complex one the technique and the logic is practically the same so it really doesn't matter so let's go ahead with that okay so i've created a component here i mean i have a frame here uh just a frame which is called button one with a text and i'm creating a component out of it okay so i created a component after i did i can hit this button which set, which gives me the option to add a variant the moment i do that it's going to add another variant to my component now notice by the way i'm going to control z or command z on your mac for a sec so this is called button one the moment I uh, hit this add variant, you see that the name of the component practically didn't change. Okay, it just added another variation to this component, meaning that it's still the button one component. Okay, but it just have two variants right now. It has the default one as the default name that Figma actually gave it. And the second one actually is you can call it whatever you want let's say that this is going to be a uh, hover button so i'm gonna name it hover and when i named it hover of course i can change either it's uh i guess do some change in the uh the background color or whatever anyway i can do whatever i want of course if i want to add another variant uh, easily i can just uh click uh, this button or click sorry click yeah, click this one. Yeah, they changed it uh, not long ago. So I can just hit this plus and have another variant and call it whatever I want and just uh, um, design it however I want. Or I can just hit any one of them and just hit the plus. Or by the way, control or command D will actually do the same thing. So I can add as many variants as I want. This is one way of just creating a single component and uh, hitting the add variant button. By the way, just sharpening one thing to be very clear and understood, each variant is a master component to itself. Meaning, see if I drag this one out, you see this is a master component. It's not a child component of the first one. So that's also something to understand. Okay, so when I'm using variants, if I'm making any change on one of the variants, the change is going to, going to appear, sorry, only on the uh, on the variant that the change was made to it. Meaning, let's take the child component of this one, just sharpening it for a minute. And let's say that, uh, let's give this one a bit of a different color, uh, or maybe even add a shadow to it, which a shadow actually is quite not so nice on this colors <laughs> because it's let's do something like that. i don't like shadows on on these uh, colors but anyway it doesn't matter okay so we have one with a shadow let's call it shadow so notice the fact that now this is the variant this actually a uh, child component the instance of one of them is holding all the three in it Okay, so this is the default one, this is the hover, and this is the shadow that 
also can appear in hover or whatever you want to do with it doesn't matter okay now if i'm gonna add let's say an icon to this one this is just a demo demo icon let's say i have an icon placed here let's give it some color so you see now that the icon doesn't appear in this one and this one okay the icon will appear only on the default one because that's where i placed the icon okay just making it here so that was one way of creating variants sorry to kind of like go to other ways as well but i think that it's it's good to explain that as well the other thing which i can do i just have a frame here okay and i'm going to duplicate this frame and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna call this uh, button two, uh, or you know what? Yeah, let's work with slashes as well. I mean, if you want, you can also work with slash. That means that if this is the name of my, uh, of my component, button two, and I want to maintain it after I design a few frames, I can give it also names after, but anyway, I can do like default like that. And this one, copy i'm gonna put it here double click and i'm gonna call this one hover so now the only thing that i have here actually are two frames okay they're not components yet and what i can do is do something like that i can select them both together by the way the hover i can give this shadow uh, sorry this uh, color i can select them together so i have these two frames selected now see that when i'm selecting only one i have only the option to create a component when i'm selecting both of them now you will see that here i have the options i have actually three options if i create component it's going to take them both and put them in the same component of course that this is when we're talking about variants of course this is not what we want okay we have them both here so that's not what we want i can also create a component set component set it means that it takes both of them makes each one of them a master component and combine them to variants okay now to, uh, to actually two variants of the same component which will be called button two because this is the name that i gave uh, the component name before the slash and the name after the slash is going to be the name of each variant okay creating a component set so that's what happened we got a component which is named button 2 and if i'll open this button 2 we see the default and the hover so we see both of them here so that's the second way of creating a variant creating sorry variants to a component which is more right to say it like that and as you see the result is practically the same there is no difference okay it's just two ways to get to the same thing so we can do it so we can do it in either way which is comfortable for us another way i can take this button three let's call it default we can name the component after and this one i'm going to put here and call it hover okay uh, and the hover we're going to give it this color again i can do another one okay and i can just copy properties and click on this one and just paste properties and then i'm going to have the same as i mean the same uh, sh uh, sorry um uh, color and shadow the same as i have here okay so let's call this one uh, shadow as we did there it doesn't matter anyway the name of course you can give it any name that you want so another way of creating variants i can select these three frames again and a frame can be a content card it can be a header of a website a footer uh, an image scroll anything that you want to create a comp or make it a component it really doesn't matter i'm just showing it on very simple components here and here i can do like that i can create multiple components and what i did now is actually this one and this one and this one each one of them is a master component to itself okay and if i select them three see here that i have the button combine as variants okay i can do that actually when i'm selecting 
three master components and now i can name this component let's say button three okay so again the result is the same as this or this here we don't have the last one but basically as you see it's practically same okay there is no difference it's just other ways to get and do it uh, add variant combine uh, or make a component set and combine as variants by the way if you see that i'll take this one i'll take this one and i'll duplicate it and make a child component out of it see that now when i select these both i mean this is the master component and this is the child component the instance of this one okay so you see that now when i select them both it doesn't let me it doesn't give me this button uh, combine as variants why because as i said they must be master components and they are not it's a master component and it's instance so we can put that back here and by the way you see that when i put it back it gets back to be a variant i mean if i take this one detach okay and let's say that i call this one a uh, i'll just give it a different color okay it doesn't matter right now give it something like that and i'll call it button three uh you know what i'll just call it orange and i'll turn it into a component so now it's a master component see this variant cage which is actually a frame <laughs> okay and now you see if i'll drag this button it's a master component and if i'll drag it inside this variant frame you will see that now now it became one of the variants so you can also drag an outside master component into a variant frame and just make it another variant so now you see here that this one the instance of them of one of them contains actually or holds all these variants and it will have the orange one as well so we have the orange default shadow and hover okay so I hope that now this whole thing is much more clear. Uh, I showed you, I think, all the ways of creating variants and um, I guess that that's about it. Oh, sorry. I also wanted to show that on these icons. I mean, I've created uh, some icons here that we can do that as well, just another minute. Uh, so again, if let's say I want to have an icon uh, placed somewhere if it's in a content card a uh, let's say a button or a bottom navigation bar in mobile a header whatever of a website it doesn't matter actually so again you know i can just take this one for example okay make a component out of it and just add another variant when i add another variant then here i can just uh, let's say place another icon let's say take something like that and if i create another icon yeah let's so i just do a simple icon it doesn't matter really uh, give it a stroke and a white feel and i can just place it here delete the where is it here i delete the uh, home which i called it just a rectangle one <laughs> okay and yeah and so you know i can also do it like that and I just have two variants. And of course, I will give this variant uh, a profile. Okay, so something like that. And the other ways that I can do that, again, I can select them all and just combine them as create component set. It combines them as variants of the same component, which will be called, I didn't give them a name. It can be called, let's say, just icons. Okay, so now icons, and then it has all these icons inside it. Okay, so just working with icons, basically, as I told you, same exact thing. And the principle of creating them variants is the same. One more tip, please just notice, uh, Figma made the changing of the name of the variant itself here on the side. Uh, be careful of doing it here. Okay, you can double click on it. And if you see the property, one equals if you want to change the name from here i mean you can but you need to leave this one the property one equals if you don't then it's not going to function as a variant um, and that is something to consider okay 
it will not see it as a variant. So, and of course, if you have double names, I mean, the names of the variants are the same, it's gonna give you here, if we're talking about variants already, so that is called default, let me copy that. And this one, I'm gonna name it the same. So you see that now it tells you the properties and values of this variant are conflicting. That means that you have two variants with the same name, change the applied values of this variant to resolve this. I mean, if you change the name, by the way, it's K, it's K sensitive, meaning that uh, if I'll give it a small d, now Figma will see them as two different names. That's also something to be aware of. This is a default with a big D, and this is a default with a small D. For Figma, it's two different names, so be aware of it as well. Um, yes, I think that I covered it all pretty much. And if, of course, there are more questions, I will be happy to answer them. Feel free to write me comments. Any tutorial that you want, guys, I will do with pleasure and uh, hope uh, it was informative and good. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I would be very happy for your like, would be even more happy if you do a like and subscribe to my channel. Cool tutorials are always coming up ahead. Thanks a lot, see you in the next tutorial guys. Bye for now.